Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So you guys know that age-old saying that if it's too good to be true, it's probably not. Well, we're going to test that theory today because the other day I was on eBay just perusing, looking at all my safe searches to see all the new listings that had come up. And I came across a new listing for a Honda Civic EK9 Super Treasure Hunt. It was still currently in auction, starting bid at $70, and then it also had a best offer option. So randomly just shot the seller an offer for $70, the starting bid price. And to my surprise, it was accepted. I mean, when I got the notification, I was pumped. I was so excited. I didn't think twice. I hit my PayPal, bought the car. I didn't think twice. And I let my buddy know. And he was basically the bring me back down to earth conversation that I probably needed to have in that moment. Because if you look at the seller's profile, he had been on eBay since 2019. Didn't have any negative feedback, but he only had 12 reviews which were all positive, but at the same time, only 12 reviews, so maybe they're legitimate, but they just haven't had a lot of items sold on eBay. The other red flag was this individual had a couple of other Hot Wheels listed on eBay for Super Treasure Hunts, but they were well outside of the current sold prices. So I think there was a Volkswagen K4 Racer Super Treasure Hunt set with the main line and I think they were starting bids at 80 plus dollars. It was just absurd. So it made me feel a little bit uneasy about my recent purchase. But I wanted to give the seller the benefit of the doubt. I didn't want to jump to conclusions too soon and I just played the patient game, fingers crossed, hoping that this was a legitimate sale and then this showed up in my mailbox. Yep, the individual shipped it to me in this little Debbie's half carton. And uh, yeah, this was a big red flag that maybe I didn't get what I purchased. Or if I did, it might not be in the best condition. So I'm going to open this live on YouTube for you guys so you guys can bear witness. And feel free to make fun of me. If I did get scammed and there is essentially just a bunch of Little Debbie wrappers in this box. So, oh boy, here we go. Fingers crossed. I hope I got what I purchased. If it's not a super, I'm going to be very sad, guys. Well, you can see there is a Hot Wheels in here. It does look like a Civic. Oh boy, guys. It worked. It was a super after all so I did not get scammed guys but you can see that all the telltale signs where this was a pretty sketchy deal but it all worked out and I guess this just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover so the most intriguing thing about this purchase other than the packaging is the fact that this EK9 Super Treasure Hunt is currently selling right now consistently and frequently for about a hundred and thirty to a hundred and fifty dollars so to get this car for just seventy dollars seventy five dollars shipped is a steal and it made me think about a video that I had put out about six months ago talking about the best bang for your buck at a hundred dollars and it compared these three cars right here so the EK9 Super the RLC Nismo R34 and the Liberty Walk Mountain Drifters ER34 Chase piece. At the time, all three cars were right in that $100 price range. But six months later, let's just take a look and see which car is rising to the top. So again, as I mentioned, the EK9 Super in that $130 to $150 range. The ER34 is a pretty much at that same price range. So about $130 to $150. And the Nismo... R34 out of 30,000 currently right now selling at about $100 even. I've personally seen it go under that more at the 85-90 range. And if you guys recall the video that I put out on these three cars, I said that the best car to pick up for $100 was the EK9 Super. And I'm holding by that. I still give the slight edge to the EK9 because it is just a dollar mainline. 
the quality on this car is honestly only a dollar's worth versus the premium and the RLC. I mean, these cars, we expect the values to go up, but not a $1 Supercharger Hunt. I mean, I think that really speaks volumes as to how nice this car is. And if you just look at the statistics, you look at the value of these cars, it is an indication of how much interest and demand is there for this super treasure hunt i mean literally the best super for 2022 i know the lamley polls are now closed on the 2022 super treasure hunts and the winner is the lamborghini mira sv which i'll admit is a nice super i never found one this year i haven't actually even personally seen one in person just yet but i will still say that the edge has to be to the ek9 i don't know how the ek9 came in second place again there's a lot of factors there but I think if you look at purely just from a secondary market value standpoint, I personally think that's a better indication of what Super is more sought after and more in demand. The Lamborghini Mira SV currently right now is selling for $50 to $60 at the most. Again, not even half of what the EK9 is selling for. So. I think it's pretty clear that the EK9, regardless of the Lamley polls, is the best super for the year. And honestly, you're thinking long-term value from an investment side of things. I mean, this is the super to have. So just a quick update for you guys, a little fun unboxing just to see if I did get scammed. And if anything, guys, this should only motivate you that there are some great deals out there. Even on eBay, you just gotta be vigilant, gotta keep looking. Just like hunting for Hot Wheels at the retail stores, I mean the online game is where you can honestly do your most damage so just keep an eye out for good deals. We'll also throw out there, I am at 8 EK9 supers, not as good as Mr. Mad Visions over there. I know he finally hit his magic number of 9 so I am one short of that guy but in all honesty I kind of stopped hunting for EK9 supers, I started to focus on other things but Maybe I'll get another just to get that solid round number of 9 just to go with the name of the car, the EK9. But we'll see. I'm pretty happy with the 8 right now. But that's what I got for you guys today. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.